Hi everybody, Jackie here, and as you can see, I'm in the same sweatshirt as I did in my last video. This is Saturday, and I'm making a bunch of videos, just getting them all caught up. I did a lot of shopping the last few days. So for a few videos, you're going to see me in the same clothes. Doesn't mean I'm a skank and don't take a shower and change clothes. It just means I'm doing a bunch of videos in one day. Okay, so this one is, and I threw the bag away. This is Tuesday morning. I went there for one thing specific. They had it, and I was tickled to death. So, of course, that's going to be the last thing I show you. Got to keep you waiting. I got some of these. Uh, I believe they're Ranger is the maker of them. Yes, Ranger ink pads, dye ink pads, and I'm not. I don't do a whole lot of stamping, but I do do some. This one is called Rain Cloud. You can see it's kind of a grayish, bluish tint. And these are $1.99, regularly $4.99. So I saved $3 a piece on these. I also got, this one is called Cactus. And this one is called Raven. It's like basically uh, a black one. I use more black ink than anything else. I got those three die pads. Like I said, they were normally $4.99 a piece, so $5. Three of them would have been $15. I paid $1.99 a piece, so three of them times two is six. So I saved $9 there. And then I got this paper pad. Normally $19.99. Compare it $19.99. I got it for $4.99. It is 12 by 12 papers and uh, 48 sheets. Now, they're not double-sided. They're just front-sided. And let me put it up there so you can see some of the things. But I think they're going to be perfect for making cards and pocket letters and everything. Let's see if I can give you all a... That's not going to work. Again, I'm not prepared. It's not open. Bear with me. Sorry about this, folks. You think I'd done this enough by now I'd be prepared. But I just grab a bunch of bags and pull it up to start videoing and I don't have anything ready yet. Okay. I'll pull that one down and maybe you can see some of them. Oh, Lord. Can you tell I'm not good at doing flip-throughs? We're going to try it this way. Anyways, I just I thought it was a cute paper pad for $4.99. Absolutely, yes. Now, this is what I went for. Uh, my sister actually happened to see the see the circular on it, and she said, hey, isn't this kind of what you're wanting? And I was not locked into any certain brand because I'm not used it before, so I don't know. And I looked at the ad, and I said, God, yeah, that is what I want. Wow, that's a good price. It's originally... $119.99 and I paid $49.99 for it. Uh, don't know how many they had. I got the last one, so who knows how many they got. But anybody that does any kind of crafting knows what this is. Is the Sizzix die cutter. The big shot is the one they call it the big shot. Let me see if I can turn this where you can get a look of what it actually looks like. This is what it is. It's You put your metal dies in there between the two plates with your uh, pe decorative paper or whatever card stock. And then it cuts out the shape of whatever die you put in there. Which is great for pocket letters, planners, uh, making cards. I do a lot of making cards. As a matter of fact, I just got informed this morning. Today's the third. Yeah, today's the third. And of course, you got to count for mail time. I have to make 10 Valentine cards for assorted 
grandchildren for my sister. But I got plenty of supplies so I can do it. So this was my, this, the Big Shot Sizzix. That was my buy. That was my find. I've been wanting one. I just hadn't decided. Was I going to go with a cuddle bug? What kind of was I going to use? Because I didn't want anything would have to hook up to my uh, computer like a cricket or anything like that. I just, since I'm just starting with it, I wanted to go, you know, very basic. That worked. That was awesome. Okay, I'm also going to show you what I got at five below. I didn't get much there, just two little things, but I was kind of impressed with them. First off, these nails, and as you can see, they're very small nails, but that's okay. You use them as accent. There you go. You see the blue with the flowers? I can use them as accent nails with other solid color nails. And as you could tell, I'm not afraid to mix them up. Three different kinds. This one, this blue one, and then a white one. I'm not afraid to mix them up, so that doesn't matter. I'd use them as accent nails. Now, this is Smiley Washi Tape. It's uh, each one is a half inch wide and 12 and a half feet long. There's four of them in here for two dollars, but they're the they're the smiley washi tape. And I don't know how good of a but that brown one right there is what caught me. What made me get it? It is the poop emoji. I just had to have that. I, I, I loved it. So that's that was my little five below haul. Now, one more thing. Two steps. No, this is Hobby Lobby. Yeah, this is Hobby Lobby. That is not Hobby Lobby. Okay. Since I had gotten the new Sizzix Big Shot, I knew I had to get a die of some sort to start with. This was originally $19.99. I got it for $5. And it just, it's uh, Tim Holtz. And it just looks like a city skyline. I don't know if y'all can see that. A city skyline. So give me something to start playing with so I know, you know, practice and make it work good. Then, I got a little stamp. You know, I always say at the end, not my circus, not my monkeys, which is a Polish proverb. But, um, In all my gaming groups that I play, and everybody knows me as the Flying Monkey. Because I just have, was using uh, Flying Monkey from The Wizard of Oz for my uh, avatar, or my picture. And uh, so everybody in the groups just started calling me Flying Monkey Lady. Well, I also get into sock monkeys. Now, this was originally $6.49. And it was marked down to a dollar sixty-two, and it is a little sock monkey. Is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen? Cause I'm the sock monkey, I'm the flying monkey lady. Okay, we know I do a lot of. There's two of these. I'll take them out at the same time and show them. I do a lot of uh, cards and stuff. Now, this box of cards is called Off the Bolt. They're from the Paper Studio. They were originally $9.99. They were marked down from $10 to $2.50. It's 48 cards and 48 envelopes. And it comes with 16 different designs. There's designs. Those designs. And those designs. And while I have paper, you know, cardstock that I can make cards out of, and I've got different colored cardstock, then you either have to buy envelopes or you make envelopes. So when I can find it on sale like this, a $10 package for $2.50, you bet I'm going to get it because I don't have to worry about envelopes. And the la other one I got, the last thing I got... Uh, from there, from Hobby Lobby. Again, $9.99, reduce, reduced to $2.50. It's 48 cards and envelopes, six of each, eight different colors. 
and it's called Be Bright Box of Cards. There's four of the colors. And then there's four, the other four colors. So I just thought it was a great deal. You know, I tried to stay into card making, and that helps a lot. So, okay, that was what I got. I got my uh, Big Shot, which I'm absolutely in love with, and then just little extraneous things, you know. But it was all stuff that I wanted. Didn't need it, but I wanted it, so I got it. And again, I will ask you to please like this video, subscribe to the, my channel, make sure you uh, get that thumbs up for the like, and hit the bell to be subscribed so you know when I upload future videos. And remember what I say, it's not my circus and they're not my monkeys. Y'all have a good day now. Bye.